So, so this uh, this double helix structure that we typically associate with DNA and RNA. Mm -hmm. um, what are we actually visualizing here in, in this green? Um, are these atoms? Are these relationships between them? Yeah. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead. And, okay. So I'm gonna hide the uh, the protein aspect of this. Uh, it's gonna mm -hmm. be a particular chain, and I'm just gonna hide the surface, and I'm actually gonna hide those residues, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna hide the ribbon. So. The ribbon that we see here, any of these, you know, red alpha helices, these mm -hmm. yellow beta sheets, this this green backbone, that's all mm -hmm. just a, a cartoon model to help you understand things better. It's not mm -hmm. you know, really based uh -huh. in uh, in anything. Right. So, so if so. we, oh, I'm gonna hide that guy too. Uh, hide residue. Okay, cool. Um, but what's important here is the uh, the DNA double helix. So right. if we select that, uh, we're gonna hide the ribbons. So now this mm -hmm. is just purely atomic composition. So yeah, uh, now it's a little bit harder to, to see that double helix structure, but you know it is it is still there. You know this is still right. a double helix, and so what we're seeing is that you know we have this phosphorus. Uh, that's this. So this shade of orange was phosphorus. Uh, mm -hmm. The other shade of orange uh, was kind of a rustier color, and that and that was the, the iron. Uh, but mm -hmm. what we have is we have this uh, you know this, this phosphorus backbone, um, and then we have each one of the uh, the the DNA base pairs. So. Right. We can see that these nucleic acids all, you know, complementarily fit together. So I like looking at the hydrogens here. So right. we can see this one has two hydrogens on the left, and then this this mm -hmm. one hydrogen here. So it's yeah, really I'm like you know you want three yeah. hydrogens per. So it's two and one, right. and then we have two and one, and then we have two and one. And so this is what people mean by by base pairs. Um, right. They all you know fit together very complementarily. In mm -hmm. this one, you know, we have two on the outside, one in the middle. Yeah, right. two on the bottom side, one on the top, two on the outside, one in the middle. Um, so long as you know they all fit together, um, you know, this is how things are, are determined. So if we just select one chain, um, I should select both. Show the ribbons again because that was helping me out. Mm -hmm. um, select one of the chains, and I'm gonna go ahead and split that. Mm -hmm. Cool. And so split just means I create two files. So now right. each one of these pieces is fully independent from the other. Right. And so in, in um, you know in biology, each one of these you know is floating away. So when you when you reproduce as a biological thing or a cell, mm -hmm. it'll actually um you know, split off your DNA in these little uh, chunks, but then everything always ends up you know finding each other again because it wow. is a, a complementary complementary yeah. pair. Uh, so we could do something kind of cool, which is the uh, align. And so mm -hmm. yeah, we have this, we have this, and, you know, it gets jumbled up, everything's going on what do you do well you could align them and your body figures this out but we're just going to do it here for you if we align them boom wow just you know puts them uh puts so, them so this is sort of together. state of this is their nash equilibrium here <laughs> yeah yeah this is the uh the lowest uh energy minimum minimum state yeah. 